Hello, I'm Daryl Yamashiro, Director of the Division of Pediatric Hematology, Oncology, and Stem Cell Transplantation at Columbia University Irving Medical Center and the New York Presbyterian Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital. It is my pleasure to welcome each of you prospective Pediatric Hematology and Oncology Fellowship candidates. We are part of the Vagilis College of Physicians and Surgeons of Columbia University, one of the nation's most research-intensive medical schools which is consistently ranked among the best medical schools in the nation. Clinically, you are a part of the New York Presbyterian Hospital, which is ranked fourth amongst the nation's hospitals by US News and World Report. This combination of the Vagilis College of Physicians and Surgeons and New York Presbyterian Hospital offers fellows exceptional experiences and opportunities, both clinically and in research. The division has 28 faculty members and is comprised of three sections, hematology, oncology, and stem cell transplantation, each with its own clinical service with faculty who are experts in the field. We have cutting edge programs ranging from precision medicine, leukemia, brain tumors, cellular and gene therapy, hemostasis and thrombosis, to integrative therapies. We are active members of the Jones A Oncology Group and participate in the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute Leukemia Consortium. We are a core member, one of only 21, the COG Pediatric Early Phase Clinical Trial Network that designs and conducts pediatric early phase clinical trials, including phase one trials. Our fact accredited BNT program has performed more than 200 stem cell transplants or cellular infusions over the past five years. Support for the division comes from NIH grants, foundations such as Hyundai Hope and Wheels, Alex's Lemonade Stand, St. Baldrick's Foundation, and the Divisional Philanthropic Organization, Hope and Heroes, which robustly supports the fellowship program. Thank you for considering our fellowship program. Hello, I'm Prakash Satwani, director of the fellowship program. We are committed to the tripartite mission of patient care, education, and research. Our goal is to provide comprehensive training in every aspect in the evaluation and care of children with blood disorders and cancer. Our patient population is one of the most diverse in the country. We are neighborhood hospital for the largely Hispanic communities of Washington Heights and the South Bronx, as well as major referral institutes for patients, not only from the New York metropolitan area, but from across the country and the world. Our faculty members are national clinical leaders and investigators who are committed to teach, educate, and guide fellows to be the best they can be and set each and every one of our trainees on a successful career path. Our expectations are high. It is our hope that our fellows become independent laboratory and clinical researchers, physician scientists, and teachers. In addition, we have a strong emphasis on mentorship and trust our fellows will be role models for the resident and medical students. We have nine fellows in our program three in each of three years. Clinical learning is the focus of the first year. However, an introduction to research is initiated early in the first year as fellow meet with the faculty from bench and translational research program, as well as with faculty conducting clinical and database research. The second and third year of training are devoted to research. However, fellows have the opportunity to enroll in a two-year master degree program and several fellows have successfully received training grants to enroll in patient-oriented research, public health, and bioinformatic programs. Our division is part of an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center with 150 basic science laboratories that conduct novel research in leukemia, lymphoma, brain tumors, solid tumors, precision, and genomic investigation. Department of Pediatric has world-class immunology labs led by Dr. Jordan Orange and Emily Mace, Dr. Powell Moransky's Cellular Therapy Lab, and Immune Dysregulation Lab led by Dr. Joshua Milner and Dr. Wendy Chung's Genetic Enterprise that investigate cancer predisposition, syndrome, and rare diseases. Each of these highly accomplished researchers collaborate with our division and welcome our fellows to become a member of their lab team. By special arrangement, fellows upon completion of three-year training 
have continued their research into fourth and fifth year after securing grant funding. We measure success by job placement, publications, and presentation at national and international meetings. Fellows who have graduated from our program have become associate and full professors, division directors, national and international leaders, and have secured peer-reviewed federal and philanthropic grants. In addition, other than successfully competing for T32 training grants, our fellows have received funding from St. Baldrick, Hyundai Hope on Wheels, and Alex Laminate Stand. In last five years, we have graduated 15 fellows. 13 are currently assistant professors in various university programs. One is doing bone marrow transplant fellowship and one is in a private practice. Five of the 15 have become faculty members of our division. Historically, fellows have been consistent in publishing their scholarly work. Over the last decade, 24 fellows have published 40 papers in high impact journals. We collaborate with members of the Department of Pediatric Medical Education to enhance fellow education. Trainees participate in the Fellowship Academy, led by Dr. Sarah Lussman, who organizes lectures to enhance fellows' personal and professional development, and introduce our trainees to 75 fellows in 15 divisions across the enterprise. Thank you for your interest in our program. I'm Katie Ender, Associate Director of the Fellowship Program and a pediatric hematologist. I've worked closely with Daryl and Prakash for many years and have always been inspired by their leadership and their dedication to our fellowship program. One aspect of our program that makes it special is our commitment to offering a diversity of experiences and opportunities to our fellows, clinical, academic, educational, leadership. We care for patients with a wide spectrum of malignant and hematologic disorders, from common conditions to very rare diagnoses that require specialized sub-subspecialty care. Our fellows are exposed to all aspects of the field and also have opportunities to explore and nurture with expert mentoring specific interests, leukemia and lymphoma, brain tumors, stem cell transplantation, solid tumors, phase one therapeutics, hemostasis and thrombosis, sickle cell disease, and platelet disorders, to name a few. Another great strength of our program is the incredible ethnic and cultural diversity of our patients and families who come from many different backgrounds from all over New York City and the world. A consistently valued highlight of our clinical training is the priority that we place on fellows' continuity of care with their primary patients. We also support fellows in choosing a research track that best aligns with their career goals, and we can mobilize the academic resources not only of our division, but also of the New York Presbyterian Hospital and the entire Columbia University Irving Medical Center. We are committed to a state of constant and responsive improvement for our fellows, and it has been truly inspiring for us to see how deeply and enthusiastically our colleagues in this division and our department have engaged with us in this endeavor. All faculty are accessible to our fellows, both in the clinical setting and as research and career mentors. The open door of Prakash's office is real, and also a perfect metaphor for how we want our fellows to approach us and our colleagues. Another critically important aspect of our program is how seriously we take our responsibility to promote and protect the health and wellness of our fellows. In our mission to train excellent physicians and scientists, we know that the educational rigor has to be pursued in a nurturing and empathetic context of supporting each other's wellness goals and priorities outside of the hospital as well as at work. We are a family. I also want to say that as individuals and as an institution, we are as committed as ever to grappling with the important issues of race, racism, health equity, and justice. And we sincerely acknowledge the importance of honoring diversity in our patients and families and in our team. We look forward to meeting you. I'm Yovana Pavishit. Assistant Professor in the Division of Pediatric Hematology, Oncology, and Stem Cell Transplantation. I completed my fellowship training at Columbia in 2019 and then joined the faculty as a pediatric oncologist on the investigator track. I'd like to tell you about a few things that stood out to me during my training that made Columbia an amazing place to do your fellowship. First, the strength and collaboration among each of the three services, hematology, oncology, and stem cell transplantation, ensures that you receive a well-rounded education and are well prepared clinically to care for the most complex patients. Importantly, 
fellows are treated as their patient's primary doctors, and patients will name you as their physician. That provides an incredible learning opportunity to provide comprehensive longitudinal care for patients and build lasting relationships. The faculty are there to provide mentorship and guidance, but you will graduate with confidence in managing patients independently. Second, the educational and research opportunities available at Columbia are fantastic. Not only are you part of the Columbia University Medical Center and the Herbert Irving Comprehensive Cancer Center, but also of the larger university itself. Whether you are interested in clinical, translational, or basic science research, you will be met with renowned departments, schools, and mentors, all dedicated to helping you achieve your personal goals. You will work with national and international leaders in disciplines like cancer genomics and epigenomics, tumor biology and the microenvironment, precision oncology and systems biology, and cancer population science, to name a few. Columbia additionally boasts a prestigious School of Public Health and a world-renowned Department of Biomedical Informatics that is the oldest in the country. These departments provide fellows the opportunity to complete master's programs as part of their training. During my fellowship, I had the amazing opportunity to obtain a master's in biomedical informatics funded by a National Library of Medicine training grant. I completed coursework in computer science, computational genomics, informatics, and data science, which allowed me to jumpstart my academic career as a physician scientist. I am currently collaborating at Columbia with Dr. Andrea Califano, an international pioneer in systems biology, as well as many pediatric oncologists across the country and the world. We are applying novel computational algorithms to identify and target critical tumor dependencies in the most difficult to treat pediatric cancers, such as osteosarcoma and DIPG tumors. We have been fortunate to have been awarded multiple grants to support our work. Additionally, in collaboration with the Laboratory for Personalized Genomic Medicine, I work closely with investigators in the division's Precision and Pediatric Sequencing, PIPSEQ, program, mentoring fellows on projects in cancer genomics and precision oncology. The PIPSEQ program, established in 2013, was the first among peer institutions to incorporate prospective full exome and transcriptome sequencing for all high-risk pediatric oncology patients into clinical practice. This has made our division a nationally recognized leader in the development of precision cancer medicine. The PIPSEQ program seeks to apply innovative technologies and bioinformatics tools to create a comprehensive picture of the molecular drivers of a patient's tumor and identify individualized targeted therapies. Our goal is to connect patients who may have limited treatment options with personalized treatment solutions in close collaboration with our developmental therapeutics program. To date, we have sequenced more than 500 patients providing an opportunity to study the real-world implications of genomic sequencing on pediatric cancer care and outcomes in one of the largest, most diverse cohorts of patients with hematologic, solid tumor, and central nervous system malignancies in the world. I feel so fortunate to have had these rich scholarly experiences during my training and early career here at Columbia. I am working closely with another former fellow and the fellowship committee to ensure all incoming fellows have access to the tremendous resources at Columbia that will similarly enrich their training experiences. We will support fellows to identify their research and career mentors, define their academic goals, and successfully complete their research projects. Additionally, we will provide resources on courses and educational programs that will help fellows attain skills needed for their research and future careers, as well as grant and manuscript writing. The fellowship training program at Columbia provides rich clinical experiences in hematology, oncology, and stem cell transplantation, and unmatched research and scholarly opportunities that will help you define your passions and career goals and start a successful career in any path that you choose, whether clinical practice, industry, or academic medicine. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with you my experiences at Columbia. I'm Bradley Gampel, a third year pediatric hematology, oncology, and stem cell transplantation fellow, and currently the chief fellow. I initially chose to train at Columbia because of the balanced and diverse clinical experience combined with the research opportunities. I have enjoyed being here the past two years and I'm very excited for the upcoming year. In the inpatient clinical experience, fellows lead the rounds as well as lead key discussions with families about new diagnoses, plans of care, and end-of-life talks. Working on the inpatient service improves clinical decision-making and allows the fellows to learn how to communicate with patients 
and their families effectively. As the first year progresses, independent decision-making increases. However, the attendings are always available by our side to provide support as needed. By the end of the first year, we have the opportunity to work with every clinical attending, learn about their different styles and approaches. This is incredibly valuable as we fellows formulate our individual approach to patient management. Each fellow has a weekly outpatient continuity clinic throughout the three-year fellowship. It is awesome to have our own primary patients and to follow them throughout our fellowship. The division is really flexible about the primary patients coming on the fellow clinic days and make it work no matter the diagnosis, which I believe really helps prepare us to practice as attendings. I also appreciate getting to see each specialty in one clinic day. For instance, last week in clinic, I saw a relapsed metastatic retinoblastoma patient, an ALL patient post-transplant, and a new ITP patient consult. Each week, there are five mandatory educational meetings, including the following. Monday afternoon lectures that encompass protocol reviews, journal clubs, and new research presentations. Tuesday, Wednesday fellows specific lectures about basic topics in the subspecialties. Thursday division rounds where the on-service fellows in each of the three specialties will present interesting new or complicated patients they've seen in the last week. This conference has the entire division and often leads to interesting discussions about treatment options and plans of care. I have found that as a first year fellow, there is great balance between oncology, hematology, and transplant, and that the inpatient clinical experience provides a rich learning environment. Currently, I'm working on a research project to determine how COVID-19 is affecting pediatric hematology oncology transplant patients. We established a database that includes information about demographics, primary diagnoses and treatment, COVID symptoms, clinical courses, laboratory values, and imaging to help us better understand how the virus has impacted clinical care. We also have coexisting studies that evaluate COVID-19 and its effect on mental health, socioeconomic stressors, and microbiome with the same patient database. Columbia is the primary institution for this multidisciplinary database that currently has 15 other institutions committed to it. In conclusion, I wanted to mention how my co-fellows, as well as the entire division, support each of the fellows. Being a pediatric hemong stem cell transplant fellow is hard. We deal with very sick patients and death on a daily basis. But we are a team, and we are never alone, and we're all here to help and support each other. As fellows, we have monthly confidential fellow-only meetings with the incredible Dr. Swana, where we discuss all issues in relation to our mental health, patient-related or personal. These sessions are incredibly restorative and helps give us tools to manage the stress that is inherent with the fellowship. We share such intense experiences as co-fellows that we grow very close and lean on each other to help manage life. Thank you for allowing me to share my experiences with you.